What is up guys, welcome back to Lunatic Studio, your go-to channel for all things tech. So Echo sent these out and wanted us to try their new tactile switches in the market today, the Echo Creamy Purple Pro. Like all my other reviews, I will always give you my honest thoughts and opinion, even if I bought it or it was sent to us. If you guys didn't know Echo, what am I saying? Akko is a well-known brand and is very popular in the mechanical keyboard community. With their budget and beginner-friendly switches on the market as well as great looking keyboards. We are going to test it out on my Akko ACR Pro 68 which I did a review a while back. I'm also going to share a hefty amount of sound tests so stay tuned for that. Let's go. Okay, so these switches are 5 pin tactile switches that comes in 4 to 5 pieces and that is 10 US dollars or 600 Philippine peso a box which is very budget friendly and you can easily find Echo switches everywhere including in data blitz stores in the Philippines as well as Shopee and Lazada stores and Echo's very own official website. I will provide a link in the description down below. The top housing is made out of polycarbonate material. The stem is custom nylon pro which has a long pole stem measuring about 14.3 millimeters. The bottom housing is PA nylon and a single stage spring which has a length of 21 millimeters and an operating force of 30 grams to actuate and a maximum of 50 grams. Off the bat, I'm gonna say that these switches are very snappy and, and it doesn't have much pre-travel and total travel to them given that it has a long pole stem and the tactile bump is just right at the very top giving it a very snappy keystroke all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this on my ACR Pro 68 and give you guys the sound test. For me, the tactile bumps are very, very snappy as I've mentioned earlier. It is a very short but not so heavy tactile bump that I think is very responsive and great for gaming on long hours as the tactile bump on the bottom is like a rest, especially when you hold a button for a longer time. It is also great for long periods of typing and the switches are very comfortable to type with. The switches are also lightly lubed on the side and oddly enough on the actuators themselves. But hey, it's lubed and contributes for a much smoother typing experience. For the sound, it is somewhat deeper than my linears. I don't know if you can hear it, but the bumps do seem a little noticeable for the most part. It is creamy, that's true. The sound is kind of like a muted clack if you ask me. It is not very loud, but it's not too quiet either. I personally think that these are great switches for starting out and or trying out different switch types. Plus, it is very budget friendly and very accessible for everyone. That's it for this review. Let me know in the comments below on what you think about these switches. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video and make sure to subscribe to see more contents or reviews like this in the future. And as always, peace.